Hello, New Hope, Pastor Jeff and Brian here in the foyer of our main building. It's been 10 weeks since we've met together here in this building, and we've got some great news to share with you today. We're excited to announce that we will restart in-person services on Sunday, May 24th. We've been working on these plans for a couple of weeks, and we want to thank all the pastors and staff for their help. So as we move forward to reopen with in-person services, it's going to take a lot of patience, a lot of flexibility and willingness to sacrifice for others. Our heart behind all of this is motivated out of love and respect for everyone. We're not operating out of fear, but we're using caution and wisdom as we move forward. The pastors at New Hope are all doing the absolute best that they can to lead during this unprecedented time. So thank you for understanding our hearts and being patient as we navigate through all of these decisions. On our website and social media, you will find a link with all of the details that we're going to be sharing with you today here, which we feel are necessary to reopen safely. There's no way we can explain everything to you in this one video. So once this video is done, we encourage you to take a moment and read through those details. But right now, we want to explain a few of the steps that we're taking in order to reopen. Yeah, so things are going to look a little different as we start. So here are some of the basics that you will need to know. We are adding a third Sunday morning service, and the new times for in-person services will be 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 12 noon. There will be no nursery NH Tots, NH Kids, or Sunday School. This is just the morning service. We understand that many of you may not feel comfortable coming at this time, and we totally support that. If you're in a high-risk age category or have an underlying health condition, we encourage you to stay at home and enjoy church online. If you're feeling sick or you've recently been exposed to the coronavirus, we ask you to stay at home for your well-being and everyone else's. We will still be streaming our services online just like we've been doing at the regularly scheduled times of 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. To allow for social distancing, our capacity for seating will be limited to 250 people in each service. Seating availability is on a first-come, first-served basis. So each week, you will need to go to the church website to RSVP which service you'll be attending. If a service is full, that service time will not, not be available, will no longer be available on the church's website. So if all three services fill up, we'll work on adding a fourth service at 6 p.m. So seating in our sanctuary can be a little bit challenging since we have uh, pews. And to allow for social distancing, uh, seating is going to be in every other row of pews. So in rows that are designated for seating, we've indicated which row that is and the optimal number of seating for that row. What we're asking is that you allow four seat cushions. Each row is divided with individual cushions and keep four seat cushions between you and the next family. And what will really help us out is if you are a family of four or more, we encourage you to be seated in one of the first three rows of seating or in the very side sections. That will allow your family to take up most of that row. So choosing a row where your family can fill up most of that row will help to ensure that we will have enough seating for others. And before every service, the sanctuary and high-touch surfaces will be disinfected. To allow enough time for us to be able to do that in between services, we're asking that you wait to enter the building until 15 minutes before the service begins. If we get done sooner than that, we'll, we'll allow that to happen sooner. But here's what we need. We need some help. Uh, we're looking for three teams of people that will help us clean after each service. So if you're able to stay 15 to 20 minutes after the service that you're attending, just to help us clean and wipe down some of the areas, it won't take long if we get a handful of people each service. If you're able to do that, please let me know by signing up on our website. We are looking for people who ideally could serve the same service each week for a few weeks until we figure things out. So there are hand sanitizing stations that are set up throughout the, the foyer and the building, and we encourage you to use those frequently. Uh, there's no golf carts shuttling people since social distancing and sanitation is impractical. And in order to reduce the traffic in our restrooms, 
we are encouraging you to plan your restroom breaks before you come. We are not saying that you can't use the restrooms. We're just trying to limit the amount of traffic in our restrooms. Yeah. So here's what to expect when you enter the building. There will be no greeting team. We will not be shaking hands, fist bumps, high fives, hugs. Instead, we're simply going to wave and smile from a distance as much as possible. Doors will be propped open as you come in and as you leave. We're not going to hand out or offer bulletins or printed materials. Some of you are going to choose to wear a face mask and some of you won't choose to do that. Please be understanding and accepting of someone else's choice to do either one. Common areas and gathering spaces of the building, those will be closed. Uh, we encourage you to continue to give online. However, at in-person services, there will be buckets at the doors when you leave to place your tithes and offerings. And please hear this. These are guidelines that we're asking you to cooperate. We will not be the social distancing police. And we're not asking you to do that either. We're not going to walk around with a, a ruler to make sure you're following the six-foot guidance away from someone else. We are asking you to follow the guidelines. And this is out of love for each other. There's a lot of tension in our country right now. Some want things to be opened up and others passionately believe that everything ought to stay closed. So here's how we approach that. We will respect the thoughts and preferences of others and not make anyone feel lesser or non-spiritual because they have a different approach. Attending church in person is not a sign that you're more mature, more godly, or more committed than the person who chooses to stay at home. Staying at home doesn't make you smarter or more caring than the person who is attending. New Hope, you have always done a phenomenal job of reaching out, caring, and loving others, and you've done an amazing job with that. So let's continue with that same attitude of love and concern as we reopen. We're so excited to get back to church and worship with you. We wanna say that we love you, and we look forward to seeing you very soon.